Hey all, it's Geek Pond Vlogs back with another vlog about my college experience going back to school. It's not been easy. Um, this week has been the first week that I have had my classes. And my Mondays and Wednesdays are really difficult because I have afternoon evening classes and like... They're both electrical courses, which are a part of my computer science degree. <clears throat> but one of the reasons why they are so difficult is because I have to tell you guys about financial aid and how you use it and making sure you're ready to pursue a certain degree and all that because I cannot use PAL or TAP or even subsidized loans because I made a lot of poor choices before I got to this point. Before I took whatever aid they gave me and I took it for granted. I just used it because it was available. No one really told me, you know, hey, this is all you're going to get towards your education. And I would urge you guys that if you're going to go to school to make sure you know exactly what you want to pursue a degree in. Make sure you do research. Is that degree going to get you employed? Is that employment going to be enough to pay back any loans you have borrowed? I say this because no one really sat me down and told me that stuff when I was a first time college student. And now I am having to pay for my tuition and everything else with unsubsidized loans. Um, if you do not know what unsubsidized loans are, basically they are loans you borrow from the government and they're at a very, very high interest rate. And they continue to charge interest while you're in school, whereas if you get subsidized loans, they hold the interest until you're out of school but I don't have that luxury because I already went that route and I did a degree that didn't really get me a job so that's why I'm having to go back to school in order to get employment because I had to do some research and found that the computer science degree that I have chosen is enough to get me employed and there's a lot of jobs out there for that but getting back to the difficulties of these classes, um, because of my aid, my financial aid situation, I can't obtain the books I need for my electrical courses. I am I'm fortunate that my sister-in-law, she, you know, I found one of the electrical course books on Amazon. I found it really cheap for like 50 bucks, and she went and got it for me. So I'm just waiting for that to come in the mail. But then I've still got the trouble of finding the other electrical course book and I have to do so much reading before Monday. Here it is Friday. I don't even have gas money to drive to the campus if I had the money to get the book, you know, so and I have to get other supplies like scientific calculators and stuff like that. But yeah, so um I really urge you guys to, you know, think about what you're going to school for and do some research. It kind of sucks that, like, I'm doing night classes because in the one class I sit through a lecture and they're really long classes. I get, like, a one 15-minute break per class. And you're sitting there, I think it's an hour and a half long total, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. It's it, it adds up to almost two hours of sitting there. And you, you sit through a lecture and, you know, you're all pepped, you're excited, you're interested in the topic. But then come the lab, and it's like 8 o'clock, 8.30, I'm getting tired, you know. I mean, after having been in class all day, it's mentally exhausting. So having to do these labs, and I'm like so tired, and then I have to drive home at night, which is not cool. But yeah, such as going back to school, that's, that's life. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update about what's been going on. I know some of you were interested in hearing about what it's like to be a non-traditional student going back to college. And if you are a college student, I want you guys to take these things to heart, you know, like, think about this stuff. Don't just go to school just because you think you have to go to school. Have some guidance and do some research so you know, plan for your future, basically. 
keep good advisement too, because I had some really poor advisors over the years that just kind of steered me the wrong way. So that's it. Questions, comments down below. Let me know what you think and um, any of your experiences about this. Till next time, later, guys.